Tributes continue to pour in today for longtime DFW radio host Russ Martin. Martin was found dead early on Saturday in his Frisco home. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers with what friends are saying today will be his legacy. Russ Martin was known for sending shock waves through the radio waves, but this time the shock was coupled with grief. Uh, it was just disbelief, you know. You, you knew he wasn't going to live forever, but I don't think any of us were ready for it. Martin was a radio presenter in North Texas for more than 30 years, including as host of The Russ Martin Show on 97.1 The Eagle. And while his reputation was for being a shock jock, friends and former colleagues say that was just one side of his personality. I knew both sides, and I was blessed. The private Russ was really a, just a good heart. He was a good guy. If you got behind the radio persona and the cape and all the noise and the fun and the, and the pomp and the circumstance, he was a good fella. With a heart for helping, he founded the RMS Listeners Foundation, raising more than $600,000 for families of first responders killed in the line of duty. So that's an amazing amount of money that he's been putting toward these families in one shot. Uh, when, when life and death is on the line and there's not going to be another paycheck coming from that husband or that daughter that's, gonna come, that's not going to ever come home again. Friends say the 60-year-old had suffered health problems in recent years, yet he rose to the occasion any time a firefighter or officer fell. And that, they say, will continue, even though he signed off for the last time. The medical examiner has not released a cause of death for Martin, but Frisco police say they do not suspect foul play. Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News.